a two mile handicap chase is next up then and the top one is direct route for John Morgan the magician for Joshua Sutherland Alphine Hideaway Craig Allen Siltos David Hooley Parks Tough David Robertson Rule the Seas Paul Rhodes the great Grey Ryan Costello Fast Magic David Hooley Bakersfield Tantra Vinnie Gerard Kazban Trip Alex Cherry Vale of White Horse Darren Thompson Sonic Bolt Jim Murray Cash's Queen David Hooley Mini Conju Domina for Graham Clutterbuck Flopped and Green for Darren Thompson The Ranting Aunt for Graham Clutterbuck Asking for it and Frost, Revo Frost Rival for Leon Van Nesberg there Pretty low in the weights aren't they? We'll keep our eye on them Spice Mott for David Robertson Dallas Mirasol Vinnie Gerard China Girl Alex Cherry Cranamore Rexy for Connor Leggett Lions Raw for Paul Rhodes Swing Out Sister Martin Lidham Dry Your Eyes Derek Hinton Mr Music Man for Martin Lidham and Legs 11 for Derek Hinton So 27 this time A good big handicap chase We like these and away they go then And Direct route, flashy John Morgan front running great. Comes to the first fence and leads them over. And if there's anything that can double up and win both races, it's probably this one because it pretty much won the first race in a canter, didn't it? By quite a long way. So, direct route will be interested to keep an eye on that one and see if it can do the double. I'm going to put my money on one to do it. It would be that one. And they get over number two. So, they're all over the second then. With direct route four or five lengths clear of Parks Tough down this near side in second, and Rule the Seas is third. Legs 11 is fourth, and then Seltos with Fast Magic and Flopped and Green after that one. And Mr. Music Man is close up today. Caspan Trips also well placed, running with his stable companion China Girl. Get towards the back, Cranamore Rexy and Alphine Hideaway in the back two. With Cranamore Rexy just a little bit of drift of the remainder, but direct route is clear. By about two and a half lengths. I don't think he's quite as far in front as he was in the first race, but there's still a good 11 furlongs to go and plenty of jumping to do as they get down to the next. And direct route lands in the lead there from Parks Tough in second. A little bit of a gap then to Fast Magic and Seltos, then Frost Revival, the Ranting Artists after that one, and then Rule of the Season, Mr. Music Man with Lions Roar and Flopped and Green as they skip over the fourth, and that's a third of the jumping done. Uh, all the field still standing then. Making their way down towards the next. With direct route clear over this ditch. And it gets over that one nicely. All safe here, we're all jumping well. It's a short run to the next. And a direct route leads to Parks Tough in second. Good jump by the leader. The second horse jumped a little bit slower, has lost a couple of lengths there. And they've ruled the seas now. Third, then Frost Revival and Seltos and the Ranting Art, and then Fast Magic and Mr. Music Man flopped and green after that. And then Veil of White Horse. As they make their way well inside the final seven furlongs now, then. Direct route shows the way back home to Parks Tough in second. Rule the seas is third. Frost revival on the inside of that one is fourth as they come down to the next hand. Leader got in close to that one and gave it a bit of a wallop and he's lost his lead there. That's the first time this one's been over overtaken in the two races, but he's fighting back on the inside and gets back into the lead again. So direct route from Parks Tough over this ditch and direct route just about landed in the lead there. There was a four Alphine hideaway has gone whilst out the back as they take the next. It's direct route in the lead from Fast Magic in second. Park Stuff is third and Flocked and Green is fourth. These four are clear of Frost Rival on the inside. Then Rule the Seas. Bakersfield Tantrum's trying to get into it as well. One or two of these caught quite wide as they make their way towards the final three furlongs and the final two fences. And direct route is in the lead by about two and a half lengths. He comes down. It's stunned off. It got over it nicely from Flocked and Green. Asking for it was a faller at the back. Now Flocked and Green's moved into second. Fast Magic is third. Then comes Spice Mott. They're coming down towards the final fence in now and direct route being challenged by Flockton Green and Flockton Green hits the front Flockton Green quickly goes two and three lengths clear skips over the final fence gets over it nicely direct route's got nothing left and the fast magic's moved into second but it's Flockton Green in the lead Flockton Green for Aaron Thompson racing up towards the line it's going to be Flockton Green that's going to take it fast magic is second direct route anchored by the way is third Bakersfield Tantrum is fourth then Dallas Mirison and Spice Mott and Parks Tough and Lions are all after that one and all the way back to legs 11 so, once again, the low weight turns the tables and Flockton Green takes it. With a pretty impressive performance, good turn of foot towards the final fence and takes it direct route on a big race though under a big weight. And it's going to full list 
of the connections. Flopped in green for Darren Thompson, the winner. Fast Magic for David Hooley was second. Derek Direct Root for John Morgan was third. And Vinnie Gerald was fourth and fifth with Bakersfield Tantrum and Dallas Mirasol. Now, if you're sort of thinking, well, you're going to win, you're going to get top weight, you're never going to win again. Well, in, in reality, when this is a real season, Direct Route isn't going to be running in this race. This Nauts a 150 handicap. He's going to be running in a group race, so he's probably going to still win on level weights in another race. And that's that's the point, is that Darren Thompson will be able to put Flockton Green in a race he could win and not have to take on Direct Route again. So that's where the handicapping stuff gets interested and means that everybody's got a fair chance of picking up a winner or two and it's vitally important that there is a handicapper when we have the season and that's why we waited so long to get some people on board to do it.